Hello guys, welcome back. Let's see one of the C language question which was asked in year 2014. Consider the following program in C language. Means here they have given few lines of code and they are asking for which one of the following statements is true. Means they have given here four statements and they are asking for which statement is true. Let's see the first program. You know every C program will start executing from main method. Immediately they have declared one integer variable i. Here you will get some garbage value. And then they have declared one pointer pi which is of integer pointer means this pointer is going to store the address of the integer variable. So for this pointer they have assigned address of i. Let us assume that this address is 100. So this address is going to be stored by the pointer pi means as long as this pi having the value address 100 it will be pointed like this means it is waiting at outside of this location next immediately they have written scan of statement scan of statement is meant for to read the data from the user the data from the user okay they have written scan f percentage d comma pi you know scan of accepts two parameters one is uh, scope resolution parameter another one is the value operator okay here they have written percentage d scope resolution operator and comma pi means pi is a pointer variable generally what we will observe is scan f percentage d comma you will start with a variable m percent i like the meaning of the statement is we are going to read some data from the user which is of type integer data type and that I am going to store in the address location address of i means in i variable I am going to store the data whatever the data I am reading that data I am going to store in the i variable address. Okay, If I read like this what will happen for example I have entered the value 5 then my 5 will be stored at the location i. Similarly, guys observe here, here m percent i, m percent i, this m percent i assign it to pi, assign it to pi. So instead of this m percent i, can I write pi? Yes, I can write. That is what they have written. Scan of percentage d comma pi means this pi is replaced with m percent i whenever it is executing okay means there is no problem here so here you can pass a pointer variable also now immediately they have given print a percentage d comma i plus 5 means whatever the value that is there in i that will be incremented by 5 directly okay let's see the options first one is compilation fails it is false statement when you are going to get compilation errors whenever any kind of syntax errors are there in our program then you will get compilation fail. Syntax errors means like missing of parentheses or without declaring any variables trying to print the, those are kinds of uh, syntax errors. So option A is wrong. Option B is also wrong. Execution results in a runtime error. Runtime errors means during the execution of program, program may terminate abruptly. Then we can say that it is a runtime error. But when you are trying to trace out the program, there is no problem, this kind of problem. It's like runtime errors means generally you will observe. Divisible by 0 is one kind of a runtime error. Okay. So that kind of problem you won't observe any anything here. So option B is also wrong. Next option C, an execution, the value printed is 5 more than the address of variable i. Means whatever the address that is there, address of variable i. Address of variable i is what? 100. They are saying that an execution, the value printed is 5 more than. They are saying that 100 plus 5 you will get as 105. No. So obviously option C is also wrong. Next, on execution, the value printed is 5 more than the integer value entered. 
for example we have entered some value like 10 then the 10 will be stored here and print of i plus 5 means 10 plus 5 if i entered 15 here the 15 will be stored here 15 plus 5 is 20 so option d is correct answer i hope you understood clearly thank you